and tonight our conference host and the founder of the Timotheos Conference is going to come and give us a word that will provide us with direction. The world in which we live. The greatest deficit, not only of the world, but of the church, is leadership. And God is not jealous that when we have good leadership, we praise and honor God for them. I don't know if you've ever been under bad leadership, so maybe you cannot appreciate good leadership. I don't know, maybe you have never had a bad teacher, so you can't appreciate a good one. But God has given us a leader for the 21st century that will provide us with direction as we move into the finality of time. This man of God is the pastor of both the Bethlehem Apostolic Temple He's also the pastor of Shiloh Apostolic Faith Assembly in Weirton, West Virginia. And after I provide you with some understanding of the integrity of our speaker, we're going to receive a sermonic selection by Evangelist Hattie Turley. And so she will be the next voice that you will hear after I conclude my introduction. But Pastor Cummings has been a friend of mine. I have a long bio here, but I have been with him for over 30 years. And we have been friends. But I just want you to know that uh, District Elder D.W. Cummings is a friend of mine when he is a friend of God. And in this 21st century, I call them Yosef or Joseph. Because he has a Joyce, a Joseph anointing. He as an administrator has been blessed by God to serve on many boards. And he is the vice president of the board of a hospital. He serves on other boards. He speaks at the Senate and the gathering of the senators. He prays for them. And he is a man of God. And so tonight, I want us to be prayerful that God will send his word through the man of God. Please bow your heads. Eternal God, our Father, in Jesus Christ's name, we thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for your compassion and for your kindness. We pray that you will anoint the man of God. Give him a word. Give him an anointing. Let him, Father God, speak under the auspices of the Holy Ghost. Use him mightily. Give us an ear to hear as the Spirit of God give us utterance. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. John 10, 10 says, The thief cometh but to steal, to kill, and destroy. Yeah. The Lord said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Joshua, Jeremiah 29 says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope.
Romans 16 and verse 20. We, we got time to read three verses, don't we? Amen. Look at my say, we got time. Yeah. But look at verse 17, it's four verses. Verses 17 through 20. Let's begin at verse 17. We're going to read down to verse 20. Bless of God. Be at Church of God MBGT National Convention. And I started it there. And I feel like God has more that he wants to share. Romans 16, verse 17 through 28. If you have it, can you say amen? Yeah. Let us read it. So Ronnie, without Bible, is the opportune time to share yours with them. There's nothing better to share than the blessed word of God. If you have it, let us read it together. Now I beseech you, brother, mark them which cause contrary to the doctrine which ye have. And for they that are such serve not
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Look at somebody, look up to somebody and say, help him, Lord. The story is told, and I hope it's not offensive to anyone, of a church service, something about like this that was going on. And as the service was going on, as the service was going on, there was an interruption. And the devil showed up. And when the devil showed up, he said to anyone, if you're just visiting here, you don't really belong here, you need to go before I take over this service. And everybody left except for one lady. And one lady said, uh, the devil said, don't you know who I am? I'm the devil. He said, yes. And she said, yes, I understand. I said, well, why didn't you run when everybody else run? She said, I've been married to your brother for 30 years, and he didn't make me run. <laughs> you might have made me run. She said, now that the hypocrites are gone, let's have church. <laughs> the truth is that we as a church have been running from the devil for too long. Amen. It is time for us to stand up and be counted. Somebody shout hallelujah. Order to win a war, you must know the strategy of the war. There must be strategic attacks that are based on what you want, not what you already have. Wow. We need to find out what we're missing so that we can launch an attack and get what we need. Somebody say amen. You yeah. have to stop just managing what's in our hands. It's time to go outside and launch an attack in the world. The church has become a big daycare. But God did not send you to just be the keepers of the aquarium. He sent you to be the fishers of men. God wants you to affect the city for Christ. For if the salt has lost its savor, what good is it? So I say, yes, Lord. You never hear Walmart running ads just to sell to the people who are already in the store. When they run ads, they're trying to get people out on the outside of the store to come into the store. I'm convinced that this generation is not impressed with our preaching. Not impressed with the love that we have for the church. Uh, no, when I was growing up, we used to have Sunday night service. Anybody remember Sunday night service? We had testimony service. Amen. And uh, uh, then uh, we would uh, clap our hands so hard that there would be calluses on them after service. Uh, we didn't always have the finest of the instruments. I, I remember that there was one person when I was growing up used to play the spoon. And there was somebody else who had a tub and a string. Uh, and somebody had a washboard. Oh, come on, somebody. Look at somebody and say, you're not that young. Uh, but, but no matter what, they had church. Now, I am convinced that this generation is more educated than any generation prior to it. But I'm not convinced we're more annoyed than any generation prior to it. Uh, they may not have had but when they stood up, the devil went right. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. We need to make sure that we reach out in this last days and times like never before. I understand, if you will, that even though time is free, uh, it's also priceless. Uh, the time is not our own, uh, but we can.
We must learn how to keep our pain in the past uh, and our hope in the future, uh, but our joy in today. Uh, we have to wake up in the morning and say, this is the day.
shall bruise thy head, be of the Messiah, and thou shall bruise his heel, be of sin, he says, Jesus the Messiah, his head, he's talking about the head of Satan, is going to be bruised, and the feet of the Messiah is going to be bruised, because Satan will be under his Quickly because of time. 
in spite of what the professionals told you. Thank you. 